What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode today of our FIFA 18 Huddersfield Town career mode. You guys asked for a live episode, so here it is for you all. Hopefully sounds okay and everything. So today's episode, guys, I've got literally 60 minutes left on my EA Access. Tonight, though, when I'm recording this, it's Monday. And tonight, of course, at 12 p.m. or tomorrow, whichever way you want to do it, in the morning on the 26th, we get the full game released. So hopefully we won't have uh, we won't have too many issues and we can get straight into the full game itself. So today's episode, guys, we're probably going to be playing two games. The first one, I think, is going to be a tough one. It's against top of the league Spurs before we then have a game against Swansea City. So as it currently stands, we're doing OK. We're sat in uh, in fourth place with Huddersfield Town at the moment, which, you know what, if you just said to me at the start of the season, I would 100% take that. So as we just played that game there, actually, West Brom, I think, may have beaten Arsenal, which means now we're down in fifth place. But we do actually have uh, around about eight points away from being relegated. So as we take on Spurs, who are top of the table here, I'm honestly not expecting to get anything out of this game. But it would be nice, of course, to at least put in a good performance. I think the team that I'm going to go with is the one that we've gone with so far for most of these games. Smolov up top, Rashford out on the left, Moy Ince, Hog, Aqua, um, Low. Holding, Jorgensen, Smith and Lossell in between the sticks. But I have to say, as I've said numerous times, the goalkeepers in this year's games are very underwhelming, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I don't know what to expect from this one. We are at home. Our home form has been hit and miss so far in this save. And on top of that, Spurs are top of the table. So, yeah, we've got some work to do. It's going to be difficult. This is probably going to be our first kind of major test here at Huddersfield Town. Um, not disrespecting any of the teams we've played so far, but of course, like in general, um, the only points that are the only defeat we've had, I think, was to Newcastle, and they beat us in a 3 2 thriller. So overall, we haven't had to play like really, really, you know, big teams that I would consider to be title challengers yet. So this may be the first one that we're coming up against here, guys. Of course, I could try and show you the graphics, and I've seen a few comments from you guys saying if I speed it up, it'll work, but because of the, um, the time frame that I've got, I don't want to upload a video, and it does take me kind of a, a quite a while to upload a video in my kind of, uh, you know, situation with my internet speed and stuff, to then have to take it back down again. So it will be, I will try it out some stage, but it won't be yet. It'll probably be a situation where I literally go record that and speed it up and see if it works, and then I might do it that way. But, of course, I can't show you the graphics, guys. I can show you it up from, uh, from Huddersfield Town and Spurs walking out, but then I have to sadly show you the teams in the start menu. So... As the boys walk out here at the Kirkley Stadium, a.k.a. John Smith Stadium, I'm really looking forward to this test. It's not going to be easy for us, but if we want to be serious about our chances this season, we're going to have to do our best. And actually, having said that, let me, uh, let me turn down the volume of Martin Tyler and Alan Smith because I don't want them talking over me. So there we go. We'll turn that down. Uh, I think that was... Did I get the right one? Okay, I did. I got the right one. Um... And then, guys, we will check out the team that Spurs have, in fact, got. So that is it. They've got Kane, Ali, Son, Quadrado out on the right, surprisingly. Wanayama, Dembele, Vertonghen, Aurier, Dyer, Rose, Lloris. That is such a good side. Very, very solid from Spurs. This is going to be tough, guys. This is going to be really tough. But without further ado, first game of today's episode coming up. Our first big test as well, Spurs against Huddersfield Town. Also, it's my first game of the day. So if I get smashed, my bad. Obviously, I want a good performance from the boys today, but as I said, Spurs are going to be difficult. It's not going to be an easy thing for us here. As Rashford already looking to exploit this right side, which is crossing towards the middle. Who's there? Tom Ince was at the back stick, but he could not win the header against the defender, which, to be fair, you're not expecting him to, are you? So already we create an opportunity. Not quite a great one, but it was still an opportunity nonetheless here. As uh, Ince there gives it off to Aqua. Aqua to Ince. Ince to Smith. Smith's got Moy inside. Aaron Moy's on the ball. He feeds it off to Hogg. Hogg. We tried to feed it again out wide, and we have got it out wide here now because we picked up a free kick. So there is the ball going out wide. Hog on the ball again, back to Aqua. Aqua into Smith. We'll see what we can do with this one now. As Smith goes down the right hand side, maybe to whip across in. Smith, what a run that is! What a run from Smith! Great ball, Smolov! Oh, it's just over the head of him. Oh no, that was a massive chance. And the league's top scorer in Smolov surely should. Have made the score 1-0. If he was a little bit taller, it would have been. Smolov again, maybe in behind now. He is in behind. And he's got Vertonghen for support. And he's Smolov. And we're leading here. Oh, my goodness me. Rip headphone users. But Huddersfield Town 1. Tottenham Hotspur 0. What a find Smolov has been. 
Oh my goodness me, Larice beaten. You have to say he's got to do better here. Maybe Vertonghen has to do better as well near post, actually. So great finish from Smolov. And we lead already here at the John Smith Stadium by a goal to nil. I cannot believe we are in the lead. This is crazy. Great start. And the league's top scorer increases his goal tally again for the season. We might struggle to keep him next year, guys. Let me just say this for sure. In the next window or the window after, you know, next season, we might struggle to keep Smolov. I'm going to say that right now. But what a start here we've got. And thank you to all of you guys as well in the comments section who let me know that you can actually sign players outside the window as well. So we do have that luxury. If a deal is done for Smolov, we can have a little bit of time knowing full well that we can find a replacement in case he does want to go. But honestly, guys, what a start here. Smolov yet again increases his goal tally for the season. And as long as we can defend now, guys, we uh, we will pick up a victory here. So let's see if I can defend against Legendary, which honestly, that's my worst part about FIFA. My defending is absolutely appalling. So I'm not... Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? I'm not expecting to be able to hold on to this, guys. I do think I need another goal if I am seriously going to try and win this. What a tackle. One exception, sorry, from Rob Holding. But yeah, my defending this year isn't great. So I'm not fully confident that we're going to actually get the points here. What on earth was that, Aaron Moy? You've just got muscled off the ball like nothing. Um, so yeah, I think we need a second to be sure about this. But Tom Ince now goes down the right. Got Smolov in support. Nobody else, though, as Ince gets it back. Might have to go backwards again, though. Oh, Smith, back to Ince. Here we go. This is nice play. Ince to Smolov. Smolov, who spins, gets it off to Hogg. Hogg now has got somebody on the left. And I can't use Rashford just yet. Is That's the aim. I was trying to get it out to Rashford. Aqua into Ince. Smith make that run. Smith's made the run. Now Ince can play him in. Smith towards the back post. It's Rashford. And it's cleared away by Spurs again. And short corners aren't very good this year. So I'm going to try and whip this one in. Aqua's in the middle. But Youngwin Son will get that away. Harry Kane to try and pick it up for Spurs. Can't do it though. Good work from our defenders. We're in control of the match, guys. But, you know, all it takes is one shot from my opponents. And keepers, not very good. He might go in. So, yeah. We'll see. Moy. Into Smolov again. Smolov in behind again. It's 2-0. And it's like a repeat of the first goal. Exactly the same. And this time it's on the other side of the goal. But once again, Smolov has made it happen for us. Huddersfield Town 2. Tottenham Hotspur 0. Oh my goodness me. This is sensational stuff. Spurs are top of the league. And we are opening them up like absolutely nothing. Smolov yet again on the receiving end of a pass and he finishes the move off as well. I'm telling you guys, we paid 16.6 .6 million pounds for Smolov and already he has proven his worth. He is sensational, guys. What a, what a player we've got on our hands here. I do think it, we might struggle to keep him though. That's the only issue. If teams see how good he's doing, we might struggle to be able to keep him. But seriously, guys, even if we have him just for a season... We've even got Rashford for next year in case we need to put Rashford up there. But so far, what a start to this game and what a start to the season Smolov is having. What a player. Great work from Aqua now as well. Gets the ball back for us. And Aaron Moy might find Smolov here for one goal. No, he doesn't. Oh, the touch kind of let him down a little bit there for the first time in a game, Smolov. But if we'd have got through, that might have been 3-0. It might have been a hat-trick for Smolov in the game. But we're doing pretty well. I've kept Spurs to zero shots so far defensively. I'm trying to be a bit more kind of calm in my defending. And to be honest with you, the AI aren't really helping themselves either. But I'm trying not to dive in as much as I used to do. Because as you guys know, I'd like to defend on the front foot and put pressure on my opponents. But it kind of leaves me exposed. So I'm trying my hardest to kind of not dive into my tackles. And just trying to, I guess, allow the pressure on and then make the tackle when they make the mistake. But so far, Spurs really haven't been great in the passing front. So they've allowed me to have a little bit too much of an easy time in defending Smolov looking for Ince Ince might be in behind here he is and Dembele is trying to get back to him but Thomas Ince towards the middle and Lloris will pick up the pieces for Spurs um, honestly bit of a, of a bad ball from Ince in the end he did the hard work but I guess the pressure was on by Dembele so he had to try and do something with it again no Spurs giving the ball away but I've given it straight back to them Harry Kane now down the left hand side goes backwards all we've got to do is keep Spurs out of my box. And I'll be pretty confident they won't score. Deli Ali though, is in there. And it comes to Harry Kane. Kane back to Ali. Ali's in behind. It should have been 1-1. It should have been 2-1. Oh, my goodness me. That was dangerous. 19 minutes to go. And Lowe's been picked up with a uh, yellow card there. I'm going to make a change. Kachunga on for Thomas Ince. And that is the only change that we're making. And I don't really want to play it there because uh, Harry Kane is there. Where can I play this ball is the question now. Where do I go with this, guys? Um, 
I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know where to go with that. There was not really too much on. And that's why I've given it away. But we've got it back, I think. Yeah, we have. So Kachunga, come on. Use your fresh legs. Let's beat somebody with the ball. Smith, away from Rose. Tommy Smith is away from Rose. What's he going to do with the ball, though? Danny Rose chasing him back. It's still, it's still Smith into the back post where Rashford is. Come on, ahead of a boy on the volley. It is high and wide of the post. Sadly for us, we've got 15 minutes to hold on here to what will be a massive three points for Huddersfield Town in the Premier League. Come on, boys. Oh, I couldn't cut that out with Rashford. And here goes Sir Jorian now on the ball. What a tackle. What an interception, though. That is, I think it was Rob Holding in the end. And that, again, was important to us. Great play from Rob Holding to actually make the interception in the first place. Aaron Moy looking for the 1-2 of Rashford, who has got the pace probably to beat Aurier, but I can't quite get the ball off him here. <coughs> and the right back's done well. Holding in the air again, though. Holding's had a great game at the back. Let me say that for sure. Holding has had a fantastic game at the back. Smolov looks out wide for Rashford. Oh, come on. That wasn't even that far behind you, Marcus, mate. But Kachunga's going to get that. Kachunga has got it as well. Deli Ali now trying to get back on Kachunga. Who has found his way into Aaron Moy? No, he hasn't. And that is an important interception from Eric Dyer. Oh, my goodness me. That really nearly was another chance for us. Vertonghen now all the way up the pitch here as Spurs really trying to get themselves back in this one. It's low to Rashford, to Moy. Moy trying to feed Rashford. He's going to get it back, Aaron Moy, and he looks for Rashford again. This time, though, Rashford doesn't win that one against Eric Dyer again. We've got literally a few moments left of this game to hold on. Harry Kane on over. Vertonghen is in behind, and it really... Should have been 2-1 again. Spurs with another good opportunity to get themselves back in this game. And once again, it was squandered. Lifeline for us. I can't believe we give him so many chances this game, actually. And we're going to give him another one here. Deli Ali striking one. It's off the post. And Spurs, again, unluckily have not found a goal in this game. But that is a massive three points for us. We take away the full three points from today's game. The fans can be happy with that one for sure. Smolov again. On the front foot, grabbing two first half goals in a game that, to be honest with you, was fairly close. The only issue I've got there, guys, later on when, when Spurs were applying the pressure, there was really nowhere I could have gone with my goal kicks other than trying to send them stupidly long, but we're not going to win it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to think of a way around that, trying to get my, uh, my fullbacks involved, because I do like to kind of pass it short from goal kicks. So that was what I was kind of thinking to do. The only issue was I couldn't do it because it was closed in pretty hard. But first game done... And that is a massive, massive three points added to the board. Got a couple of players in here, though, as well, that I could possibly promote to the youth team or to the senior team, sorry. We've even got a six foot five goalkeeper. He might be our goalkeeper for the series. How about that, guys? So, yeah, massive three points. That now, guys, puts us in third place. Fair play. But we can be caught by Arsenal and we can be caught by Liverpool. But I think goal difference-wise, we're okay for Liverpool. So, uh, yeah. Third place. I'm happy with that. That's very, very good. 14 points already. We're only three off the top spot, which currently is West Brom. The only team still undefeated in the league. Which, yeah, not really sure how that's happening. Pulis is doing a good job, of course. But that's not where it lies, guys. Because take a look at that. After seven games, Smolov is a top scorer on eight. Sensational scenes. That is crazy. Alrighty, guys, we're going to then uh, put Hall into the um, the training system to try and get his overall up a little bit more. So then that way, we're looking pretty good for a goalkeeper. He's actually 62 rated already, so we shouldn't have to wait too long to be able to get him involved in some first team action. We might even be able to get him involved in this season, which would be very good to do as well. So we'll see what his growth currently is going to be like out of these uh, you know training session things. And then we'll decide whether or not we're going to be putting him into the first team. But we've had a great start to today's episode. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. And there is Marcus Hall accepting the contract to come and join us here in the senior squad. So, new player into the team. It's a new youth player as well. Very, very happy with the way it's going today. And we've just been approached by the Wales FA to take over as international manager. I'm not going to do it yet, guys. I don't particularly want to be going and, and doing any international managing yet. I'm going to wait for that. Um, and then we'll, we'll make a decision whether or not we want to do it later on down the line. But for now... Not really interested in it. We've got a monthly scan update back as well from Samu. Uh, wait a minute. Let me just do the uh, player development session first. And then we'll check out the players he's brought back. Before we go into our second and final game of the episode against Swansea City. A little bit of growth coming out of Hill. Hall already, after two training sessions, is almost 63 rated. That's what I'm talking about. It won't take as long at all to get him to a very, very good rating. So let's check out then the, uh, the monthly scan update. Um, and we have a few players back. Um, does that want to really get anybody from this? 
No, they're all pretty average, to be fair. So I'm going to leave that, and um, we won't sign anybody from it just yet. We'll make sure they're still in there in case I want to see them later on down the line when we know a little bit more about the players. But, I mean, you know, we picked up a victory just a minute ago against Spurs, which was good. Can we do the same thing against Swansea City? I'm not going to change the team, guys, because it worked for us. So as we go into this game against Swansea over at the Liberty Stadium, can we get another massive three points on the board, take down Swansea, and make this a very, very good episode indeed? So again, looking at you, Smolov, mate, what can you do for us in this one? What a bargain he has been. And we're off again, ladies and gentlemen, to the Liberty Stadium, where we'll take on Swansea for the second game here now. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, to be honest, right, I would kind of take a draw here. I mean, I wasn't expecting to beat Spurs in the first game. So if we were to pick up a draw, I wouldn't complain, you know, massively at this. It'd still be points gained rather than, you know, getting a defeat. So I'm happy, man, with the way we started. I'm very happy with the way we started this series. To come into a new game like FIFA 18, play it on Legendary already. And to play the way we have been playing, I'm very happy with that. So we'll keep moving forward anyway, guys. As you know, um, I am not too worried about this season. I'm not really aiming for anything in the first season other than maybe the Carabao Cup just to get a little bit of silverware into the club. Uh, maybe the FA Cup as well when that comes around. But for now, I don't see us winning a Premier League title with this team. So I'm not really aiming too much for the Premier League. Yes, it will be great to get in the top eight. But I think, as I said, top 12 would be where I'd be happy with. So if we can get that then I'd be very, very happy indeed. I nearly let the graphics play out there. That could have been bad. So, as I said, we'll check out this Swansea City team. Um, there it is on the screen right now. Renata Sanchez, of course, is there on loan. Roque Messa, Leon Britton, play Bonny. Uh, I've got to be honest, their defence isn't really that frightening. I think Smolov might have a good day at the office here. So, can he add to the two goals he picked up in game one and get us some more points on the board in game two? Let's find out. Here is Lowe down the left-hand side. Smolov, mate, you need to get into the penalty area. He's not in the penalty area. But here's Aaron Moy. Now back to Smolov. Smolov, who is trying to find some space on the edge of the area. Moy. Moy, come on. Where's Lowe? Why is Lowe all the way back there? I don't know. Hog. On the ball now for us here. Still on the ball. Now Lowe again. I'm trying to work the space to try and get in behind here. Moy again into Hog. Hog back to Aaron Moy. Moy on the edge of the left-hand side. Whips across towards the back stick. And there is Inns. Can't find the header, though. We possibly needed him to grab. But here's Marcus Rashford. Now Hog again. Back to Rashford. Rashford. Looks for Ince, and we'll find Ince as well. Here is Thomas Ince. Great turn from Ince towards the middle. It is. But Ince again. Another poor ball from Ince, in all honesty. Oh, come on, Thomas Ince. How have you let that go out? Ince, mate. You did the same thing at Spurs. You've put a really poor cross in, and then now you do a really bad cross, and then let the ball come off you for a throw into Swansea. What a mug. As the halftime whistle goes, guys, it's 0-0 here at the Liberty Stadium. I don't know what to make of that because neither team have really got anything going in the game. And to be fair, defensively, we look okay. I gave uh, Swansea a little bit too much time on the ball in my final third in the early part of the half. But we got back into it. Here is Smolov already. Wins that one back for us. But, I mean, I don't feel quite confident going forward. Here is Aaron Moyes in behind. Aaron Moyes for the first chance of the game. Aaron Moyes 1-0. And just like that, Swansea are 1-0 down at the Liberty Stadium. What was I saying about us not creating too much? Well, as soon as you come out for the second half, Aaron Moy says, no, we're going to create something now and I'm going to put it in the back of the net. I have to admit, again, goalkeepers in this game are absolutely shabby because, <laughs> honestly, how that has gone in, let's take a look. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that shouldn't be a goal. But it is a goal. We'll take it every day of the week. Aaron Moy, 1-0 up here to Huddersfield Town. Looking like we might get six points out of a possible six. And that will be a great point hole for the episode. Can't wait to see what lies in store for this second half. I mean, now Swansea kind of have to come forward. I feel a little bit less confident in my defending. Holding again, though. He's, oh, my goodness me. Holding has been brilliant in today's episode. He really has. As Marcus Rashford has got the pace, remember, guys. And he's taken on Renato Sanchez, who also is not lacking pace. But he can't get near the English national. Rashford towards the back post where Ince is. He wins the header. But it was honestly a weak header, and it was never going to go in. Oh, I've just been absolutely mugged off by that guy. And there's now Swansea come forward. Mistake made by them. That was an opportunity to try and get themselves back in this one here. A Smith into Ince. Ince into Smolov. Smolov looking back for Ince, who has a little bit of pace himself as well, like Marcus Rashford. But I'm actually trying to cut this back here, because it felt like the defender was actually catching up to Ince there. And Moy will find Lowe on the left. I don't know why Lowe doesn't like going for that bombing run up the pitch. But that's a great ball towards the back. Smolov, it's 2-0. What on earth is wrong with goalkeepers in this game? I'm not going to complain because I'll happily take it and make it 2-0. I 
and Smolov again is on the receiving end, and he scored yet again. I'm going to make the change, Kachunga on for ins. But what on earth is Fabianski doing there? Come on, man. Honestly, look at this. What was that? What actually was that? Oh, dearie, dearie me. But we're 2-0 up, guys, in the game. Smolov again gets his third goal in two games in today's episode. He's having a great episode as well, as long as, uh, well, Holding is as well. I have to admit, I don't know which one's played better, Rob Holding or Smolov. Of course, you don't see as much of Holding because I don't show you every time he wins the ball back in our defensive half. But in all seriousness, I don't know what's wrong with the goalkeepers, but that is appalling, absolutely appalling. Kachunga, now Moy. Kachunga, make that run, mate. You've got fresh legs and pace on the ball. There he is. Here is Ch Kachunga. Let's see what he can do with it. It's still Kachunga. I'm going to try and cut this back. There it is. Great play from Kachunga. Oh, no, I couldn't quite feed the ball into Smolov, which is what I was trying to do. We've got 22 minutes to hold on here. Swansea going to make a change. But all up, seriously, guys, I think we're going to hold on for the win. Smolov, edge of the area, looking for a curler. It's going to be blocked on the way through. That would have surely sealed the points. Oh, my goodness me. Rashford's in behind. A Smolov fed him. And it's 3-0. Swansea nil. Huddersfield Town 3 I don't know if you can blame the goalkeeper for that one, but it's a good finish nonetheless from Marcus Rashford. A bit of luck involved with the way that Smolov gets away with the ball even after being tackled. And then Rashford with that four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. He's so good in this game, guys. Honestly, he's, you can hit it on either foot with Marcus Rashford and it's going to be on target. So there you go. Anyways, we pick up a, another goal. It is 3-0. Marcus adding to the mix. It's his fifth league goal of the season as well, Marcus Rashford, which is a very good return considering the fact that we also have Smolov on nine. You know, we've, we've got... 14 goals between Rashford and Smolov alone. That's absolutely exceptional here as Swansea now trying to build something. I do want a clean sheet if we can possibly get it though, lads. And that's a good block and come out keeper to collect. There we go. Five minutes to go. We're comfortably up. It should be another three points in the bag. There goes Rashford again. Looking to maybe return the favour for Smolov. Never mind if Kachunga's been found on the right hand side. Still Kachunga cuts it back. And that's a great save from, uh, from Fabianski for once. There you go. That's what I was talking about, about at least a save from the goalkeeper. Good stop from Fabianski. Kachunga, though, good work to cut it back and then actually find the strike. And here it goes again. Fabianski comes out and punches. And surely that will take us into the full-time whistle. We're on 90 minutes here. And Swansea might have one last opportunity in the bag for them to try and get themselves back in this. Or at least a consolation even. Roque Messer now looking to go through. Holdings not going to get that tackle. Oops. And now Jogson has to win that ball. He does win it, but it's not cleared yet. And now it is going to be cleared. There we go. Another three points in the bag for Huddersfield Town. Another... Good points haul in today's episode. I mean, the 2-0 win against Swansea, uh, the Spurs, was very, very good. And now we added a 3-0 win against Swansea. Very happy with the return in today's episode. West Brom finally lose their first game of the season to Leicester at the King Power Stadium. So West Brom's unbeaten run has come to a close here. Um, so let's check out, guys, where that puts us within the league table here. I'm actually going to put the training system on just quickly because, of course, we do have a goalkeeper to kind of uh, see exactly whether or not he's going to be growing in overall, which he does do. There we go. 63 rated now. I'm telling you, I think we can get him involved in some first team action, possibly in this season alone. And as we end today's episode off, guys, barring a game in hand that Spurs do have, we could be looking at Huddersfield Town top of the table in this episode. We will end today's episode off at the top of the table, but of course, next episode, when Spurs play their game in hand, they could go back top themselves. But how about that, guys? After eight league games have been played, Huddersfield Town sit top of the Premier League table. That is sensational. What a find Smolov has been. Honestly, guys, nine goals so far from his first eight appearances in a Huddersfield Town shirt. Rashford in there on five as well. In terms of assists, Rashford in there as well. What a signing he has been. Smolov in there, though, as well. I have to say, the deals we've done in this window have been exceptional. Smolov, very good signing. Rashford, very good signing. Aqua's been good as well. Um, and then, of course, you know, Holdings had a great episode today. He's been bossing it at centre-back for us. So that's where we're going to end today's episode off, though, guys. If you have enjoyed it, a like rate would be greatly appreciated. As I said, this is my last bit of EA access. So sadly now, guys, I'll have to wait until I get the full game, which should be midnight tonight. In which case, the episodes should be hopefully a little bit longer in terms of three games per episode rather than just two. So that's it from me. I will see you all again at 6 p.m. UK time tonight, guys, for another Ultimate Team Road to Glory episode. Stay tuned for it. And we might even have our uh, squad battle rewards from week one involved in that video later on today. So thank you so much for watching this one. A like, we would greatly appreciate it. I will catch you all again.
later on tonight. Adios.